right now I'm on the community practice rotation and I'm acting as basically a student doctor here. It's very scary the first time that you cut into an animal, you know, it was a live healthy animal that you're now potentially causing damage to. Anytime I make a cut, I'm always double checking. Now this, I definitely want to make this cut. <laughs> Female? Female. Spade? Uh, she's about to be. I'm student four, so I'm supposed to have this on me. We all have to be tracked. <laughs> um, so our patient today, her name is Cheyenne. She is six month old domestic long hair cat. So she's a uh, kind of feral kitty. So she's going to be in a cage. She was trapped basically. So this will be our little girl. So they'll go ahead and give her her pre-medications and then we'll finish our physical exam later. And we'll also go ahead and spay her while she's in here. Did you get a chance to see her? Yeah, she's real cute. She is. Dr. Weir comes with a reputation. She's very reassuring to the student, but she also is very succinct in her instruction. We talk about it being actually some of the more difficult surgeries, especially a spay. Um, especially because they're potentially doing something that could cause harm. It's a lot more complicated than most people really consider, so you want to just give yourself the best chance. A scalpel to skin as you're making incisions, it's a unique feeling. So she helps us to get those things done that we need to quickly in, in a surgical setting, which is often time sensitive. It's perfect. She's pretty chunky, so you're going to have some sub-Q to get through. through. And I'd say once you get through the skin, then just those thumb forceps to kind of hold back that sub-Q. You can see the body wall. It's awesome that she identifies those things that I'm personally weaker at, and she'll go ahead and okay. call those to my attention, and that way I can improve. Yeah, nice and square. And then not more than half a centimeter from stitch to stitch. It's just nuances, like where to clamp and the timing of things and where to, where to manipulate organs and stuff like that and how to hold your instruments. And where this clamp is placed, where is that in relation to your ligatures? This little holding clamp that you have on there. This one? Yeah. Oh, it's, I see what you're saying. Do you see why you yeah. wouldn't want it proximal because it could damage those vessels? Yeah. That just kind of make all the difference, the tricks of the trade that, that you don't understand unless someone points those out to you. So what do you think about that? I'm, I feel like that's pretty good. Okay, great. It was nice to have Dr. Weir in there today because things that I thought were correct, she pointed out uh, that they could be better. Success. Success. Yay. Good job. Our, our little girl, is she going through an adoption program or does she get kind of turned back out? No, she'll get adopted through Fort Collins Cat Rescue. They have a barn cat program. Oh, okay. So she... This training program is supposed to get you to a point that you feel confident that you can not make those little mistakes. Kick that little bird out of the nest and I'll have to be doing it on my own. A plus for the day. A plus, still. Right. <laughs> <laughs>